It's 8.15. It's early. Good morning. <gasps> oh my god. My mom made homemade salsa. Hi. Office is opening back up. What I'm gonna do... It's actually like a busier day than I expected it to be. Here. My name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos, and vlogs. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to a work from home day in my life for you guys. I <laughs> it's currently 8:15 right now, and I was just in the middle of logging on, and I just kind of thought to myself, I kind of wanted to vlog today. So welcome to work from home day in my life. I literally just finished my workout right now, and I got back. I didn't really sweat that much, so I kind of might do something during the day if I can but today was a chest shoulders tries day at the gym and I almost didn't go to be honest I woke up at like 5 45 and I just kind of stayed in bed I like even had like a slow morning and like made coffee early and just had like a quiet morning but I decided to go to the gym at 7 so I went to the gym and now I'm eating a built bar this is the Mocha Love Built Bar, and I didn't heat it up or anything today, so if you guys were curious, here's what it looks like. It's not as sticky if you don't heat it up, so I've kind of been used to not heating it up, and it still tastes just as good, so I'm eating this post-workout because my chest, shoulders, and eyes really hurt. It's still pretty chewy, though, but... I guess I just wanted to give you guys like a more realistic log on today. Like I'm just, I haven't even showered after my workout. I literally just got back to the gym, <laughs> opened a protein bar. I'm just kind of jumping right into my day. I know I like to show you guys the nice like aesthetic B-roll as I log on, but honestly, this is, this is a more, this is just less aesthetic, just as realistic as when I do do it. And this is just what today is. Also, today's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, guys. Okay, well, since it's pretty early, it's like 8.15, I honestly don't even have that much on the agenda today. I just kind of want to have a full day and I want to log on early to take breaks if I have the time to. I literally haven't even like opened up my keyboard or my mouse or anything. I'm just kind of, this is, this is a lot of the time what I do when I log on post-workout like this. I'm gonna take a quick body shower and then I'm gonna make my to-do list and, you know, actually start the day, but it's 8.15, it's early. Good morning. If you guys are new to my work from home vlogs, I am a government contracts consultant working in the Tyson's DC metro area. So I'm from the DMV and I live in Arlington, Virginia. I work in corporate, work in consulting. Government contracts is like my industry, but that's just a little bit about me and I've been working full-time from home since March of 2020, so I'm pretty used to it now and I used to be really rigid about my morning routine working from home because I like needed that consistency for my mental sanity, but I've been trying to teach myself to be more flexible and gentle and and just do things as I would like to. So today I worked out in the morning, yesterday I worked out midday and pretty flexible. Okay, well, I need to shower and change and actually start my day. So very, very long start to my day, but it's very early, so. They say happy is a state of mind Like a front porch swing Pretty thing hanging over the riptide Won't push away from a nosedive Dark cities are wanting few Gonna spend the day in Gotham Pay my face Laugh aloud to convince you Good for a moment
my four better days graphic tee today and I love this thing it's so comfortable and it's so nice so I put this on to have a good day and I made some burdock tea which you guys saw if, if you guys are not new you guys know what burdock tea is burdock roots really good for your digestive health and blood health and just all that good stuff so I like to have that in the mornings if I've already had coffee and I had coffee this morning before I went to the gym so no coffee this morning for the vlog but I made some tea and then I made my to-do list with you guys so let's just go over everything pretty quickly it's honestly like I feel like this might be a quieter day but that just means I can get a lot of work done and yeah here's what's on the agenda this notepad is from Ty Haley and she is just so amazing I love this so much it just makes me so happy to look at it but today we're using the checklist because I only have one meeting today and it's at 11 30 at least one meeting so far so for focus I wrote have a productive day and my tasks include admin work I've already gotten a good head start on those already in the description box you guys will see a related videos where I kind of go into more detail about what admin work is what project work is and what internals are so if you guys want to check out those vlogs where I talk about that I'll leave them in the description box but I just have a lot of admin work because it's Tuesday so I just kind of want to go over all of my like project budgets and everything making sure that the budget's all intact. I have some project work today so I want to make updates to our files and then I want to send an email out once I'm done everything and then I want to work on my internal initiatives which will relate to my 11:30 meeting for that and then I want to get some trainings done if I have a quieter day and if you guys don't know here are my new nails this is my first time showing them on YouTube I got my nails done this weekend for the first time since the pandemic and I think they're so cute little flowers well that's what's on the agenda today let's get a head start on everything let's finish up this app and work stuff because it's usually just how I start my mornings and then we'll carry on with our day I have a pretty good feeling about today hopefully so let's have a good day you guys let's just have a good day I love language is your time and attention won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected and I want you to show me can we get okay hi guys it is around 10 50 now and I got a lot done this morning I finished my admin work that was pretty easy I made the updates to project one and I did a project email to follow up and everything I'm basically just making like an external version of our internal file so that means formatting cleaning everything up getting rid of any highlights that we made internally during our review of the model and this is for like the incurred cost proposal which contractors if you guys know contractors if they have a contract with the government then they have to submit all of their costs and indirect rates and everything at the end of each fiscal year so that's what an incurred cost proposal is and we've done that for the last couple of months it's pretty much done so i'm making an external version which basically just kind of like cleans everything up and makes it more client appropriate so that's what I'm doing today I'm still kind of in the middle of it but I made like our actual updates that needed to be made I was confused for a second because one of the updates that we made into the model um, showed variance in in a different tab and so I was like oh my god I messed everything up <laughs> But, but I fixed it and now it's 10.50. I have a meeting at 11.30 for my internal initiatives and then, then it'll be lunchtime. If I'm being honest, you guys, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Why am I hungry? I literally had a built bar this morning at like 8.30. I'm just gonna have like a small snack. My mom made, oh my gosh, you guys, my mom made homemade salsa and she said it was like an accident because she meant to get different types of tomatoes, but she made this like amazing salsa. I wish you guys could taste it, but I'll show you guys at least. So maybe we'll have that as like a little snack before our actual meal at around lunchtime. I don't even know what I'm gonna talk to you about today during lunch. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram actually what to talk about during lunch and whoever will respond first, I'm hoping for just one person, then I'll talk about that at lunch. I got a comment today to give some tips on like starting your first time job out of college and everything so i think i'm gonna make that like a separate dedicated video just because i think that's something that's like outside of my whole work from home day in my life so i'll make that a separate video so spoiler on that that will be a video later on but let's see what you guys want me to talk about during lunch today as i'm making this i'm, I'm still gonna see what you guys want me to talk about so i can save it for future videos but 
Let's talk about going back into the office and my thoughts on that. That was a nice update for you guys. I'm gonna get back to work, get a snack before our meal, and then I have my meeting soon. Hey, why don't you talk to me, talk to me. Let's start a conversation. What you spend your time with me? You speak in my love language. Talk to me, talk to me. We don't need a translation. What you spend your time with me? You speak in my love language. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Ooh. Is that a good thing? <laughs> oh man, oh my god. <laughs> well, I hope it goes smoothly. You present instead of giving me presents. You're not getting off that easily. Oh, we get back. I'm doing good. Oh my gosh, I thought your background was real for a second. And I was like, that place looks so nice. <laughs> Before we break for lunch, I did this today, and then I'm going to add my BD work. That's the work that I just got from the director, and BD means business development. Basically just doing industry research. some pan fried tomatoes and then a turkey bacon English muffin breakfast sandwich you guys I love English muffins especially English muffin breakfast sandwiches because I feel like I'm like eating McDonald's <laughs> but like you know in a good way and I just cannot get enough of my breakfast tomatoes I don't know why I just think they're so good I was looking at the questions actually that you guys asked me on Instagram and I did get a question about how I feel about going back to the office if I ever will or in general so for today's lunch chat, let's talk about offices opening back up, what I'm going to do, and I guess any like words of, not words of wisdom, but just these are like my thoughts on going back to the office, if you work in an office, and just what that whole transition is going to be like. I think everything is honestly still really up in the air. I don't really want to talk about what my company is doing, but I want to talk about how I feel about going back to the office. I've been working from home since March of 2020 now. It's been over a year and... At this point, I've become really accustomed to working from home, and at this point, I'm past the transition of working from home, and I feel like working at home is where I work now. And so with the office opening back up, I kind of have to reevaluate and reflect and think to myself, like, okay, things are going to be changing again, and how am I going to approach the office opening back up? These are some things that I've been asking myself and things that I've been thinking about that hopefully will get you guys thinking and reflecting too. I don't really have any advice per se, I just have some thoughts on this. Do you feel comfortable going back to the office? That's always the first thing. Like, virus still exists and with vaccinations and everything and the proper measures being taken and guidance from the CDC, it might be time for your office to open back up again. And some people might really need that environment if you wear your mask and everything in that sense. Like, I think it's just a good idea to kind of evaluate and think to yourself, okay, Am I comfortable going back to the office? We're still in a pandemic. So where do you stand in a pandemic in the office? I think personally, it's easy to make the excuse to not want to go back to the office because if you're comfortable eating inside at a restaurant, that's like the same thing as going inside at an office. So you kind of have to be careful and really be honest. If you don't feel comfortable going back to the office, do you really, is that because of the pandemic or is that because now you prefer it? Because if you're not going to an office, then you probably shouldn't be eating indoors around strangers too. You know what I mean? Just be honest with yourself and 
it's okay if you don't want to go back to the office because you've just been accustomed to working from home. And I think if there's anything that this pandemic has taught larger corporations like the size that I work at, that we've proven we can work from home productively and we've proven that working from home and giving ourselves a flexible day still works and it still remains effective. And we don't have a commute, so we definitely save a lot of time not commuting anymore. And in some ways, working from home has become something that we like to do. At least that's for me. But I've come to realize that I will be going back to the office. Maybe not every single day and maybe not tomorrow, but I'm comfortable going back to the office, I've decided. It's just a matter of, I think, rewiring my brain to retransition, go through another change, and get comfortable going back to the office again. Back to all the flexibility stuff, I still will be working from home, I think a majority of the time, honestly, but at the same time, I think that that's a comfort thing and that's a preference. You never know, maybe there will be more guidance and maybe for your company in some cases, a requirement to go back to the office five days a week after Labor Day or something. Making professional connections is just easier to do in person and it's easier to be in person when you all have an office to go to. So. I, when you guys are reflecting and trying to figure out what you want, if you do have the option to choose what you want to do in terms of working from home and the office opening back up, you know, evaluate everything. It's not just your comfort and your preference. It's also the opportunities and the professional relationships that you can make that can eventually even become personal relationships. You guys know how many friends I've made through work and I consider them all friends outside of work now. It's just work that kind of brought us together. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I was everywhere, but those are my thoughts. I probably will be going back to the office, but probably not five days a week. And I just want to slowly ease myself back into a new environment and, or at least in this case, an old environment. I don't do well with change. I need a long transition and I need to be really, really gentle with myself mentally when I am going through changes. I really don't want to be controversial or anything. It's really up to you and what your comfort level is. I just wanted to share my thoughts and you guys were asking what my thoughts were. So let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Do you want to go back to an office if your office is opening up or do you not? Lunch break over. This was a lot longer than usual. My 30 minute lunch break is done and I'll talk to you guys soon. But those are my thoughts on going back to the office. <laughs> I just got another thing. I'm on like, okay, if I didn't make it clear, my project work didn't last very long. So I went on like the calendar to basically tell anybody in my team that I'm available to help them. So that was what like the BD or new business development stuff was for. I'm still like in the process of doing that, but I just got another thing. This is like client related. I have that to do. I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna write a short term task should be pretty simple it was really straightforward and then usually if I like think that's gonna take a long time and I don't have time for the non billable or like non client related things like the business development things then I would ping the other person and be like hey I got some stuff but I think I'll be able to finish it all today so I'm gonna keep this on my to-do list my to-do list got pretty full I finished my training stuff and I got all my stuff for my internals done during that meeting at 1130 so I'm actually doing pretty well it's actually like a busier day than I expected it to be, which is totally okay. But I'm glad that I got some work to do and it's pretty chill. Can't complain. I think I should be able to get off at like a regular time today. So that's where we're at today. Let's stand and you know, I wanna make some coffee. Let's go make some coffee. Okay, I'm back with the coffee. I just skipped the whole time lapse and stuff because I feel like I've been doing a lot of those in this vlog but this is a half calf because I'm trying to be a little less anxious lately and I feel like it's kind of relating to coffee but 
I just cannot help myself. This is like my pick me up, it's coffee. So, okay, I'm going to get on this work. I'm gonna finish this one task. I think the task that I just got, like the shorter term one, really shouldn't take too long. So I'm gonna do that and then get back to my business development. It's 2.15 now, so. Okay, I'm going crazy today, not seeing humans, but it's fine. I'm just gonna go back to work and I'll talk to you guys soon. now and I think this is probably the last thing I showed you guys too but I only have one thing left I have to read um, basically this document by the Federal Register kind of updating general public on it's honestly a pretty long article it's four pages but it's like multiple columns per page so I'll just read you the title the title is methods and leading practices for advancing equity and support for underserved communities through the government so that's kind of what I'm reading about right now and I'm making like a PowerPoint slide to summarize everything I'm like having a hard time focusing just because it's like a bunch of reading and note-taking and like a little less hands-on I like my like cell work and stuff you know so I'm gonna try to finish up my day as best as I can I have an hour and a half if I don't get this done in an hour and a half I will be very mad at myself because this is really very simple <laughs> just want to check in with you guys and say hello and take a nice standing break. Let's finish a stay. Let's freaking finish a stay. So I just got to dinner with my friend Minjoon. Jerry came by, but I was like in the middle of working as he was visiting. So I was not in the mood to talk to him or turn on my camera, but that is Tuesday so far. Okay, back to work. Almost there. right now and I just finished my VD work. Yay! Okay, I just sent it over to my director and he just responded saying thank you, but um, the notice was basically from the OMB saying that the federal government needs to do better about choosing practices and policies and basically just implementing more ways to serve and provide opportunities to underserved communities. So I think that's amazing. But then you got into like the nitty gritty and then I just, you know, it was like, a, it was like note taking, but at least, at least all in all, it was interesting. We haven't even taken like an actual formal stretching break today. So I don't know if you guys know this, but if I'm not doing the Cobra, which is this, it's like a little more intense. If that hurts too much on your lower back, you can go on your forearms. And this is called the Sphinx. <laughs> Even if it comes to the very end of your work day, just don't forget to take those five minutes to stretch. Standing's one thing, but stretching is actually so good. Wow, I can't believe I finished that. I was honestly scared I wasn't gonna be able to, but I did. I really want some wine because I already did my workout today, as you guys know, and I just really need a reward for reading that whole freaking document. We're done at five today. I logged on really early, but, and I honestly didn't really take any breaks other than like lunch, but we got a whole day in. Should I try calling my friend? Wait, you guys, maybe. Actually, let's try calling my friend, Andrew. I'm just gonna randomly call him and see if he answers. What's up? <laughs> hi. I just wanna call and say hi. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> well, what do you do with that? <laughs>
Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today on my work from home day. I think today we had a pretty good day. I was actually a lot busier than I expected and I really find that when I'm vlogging with you guys, I hold myself accountable more and stay productive. So thank you guys as always. I'm just happy it's the end of the day. <laughs> I'm so happy that you guys love these and that I hope I'm giving you guys good value. I just find that I always forget what I even say during the day. So either way, I had fun hanging out with you today and don't forget to stretch. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.